Hello, good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, based on whenever you are seeing this. Yes, I'm back. And as some of you requested, we're going to talk about upgrades to Business Central 25 in quite a few coming videos. Now, we'll be doing every version, most probably from Business Central 14 and higher to Business Central 25, because there is a reason of why we will be doing this. I'll be doing it from di for different countries. So if you are interested for an upgrade step for a specific region or localization, do let me know into the comments because that's important. I'll read your comments. And if you say, let's say UK, or if you say Australia, I'll pick up one of these for one of the upcoming videos about upgrades to Business Central 25. But before we dive into upgrade to Business Central 25, there's a change that requires some update on your SQL Server before you start thinking about upgrading your customers to Business Central 25. And that feature is called Full Text Search for Business Central. Now people who haven't seen the previous video around it, there was a feature that was announced with Business Central 2024 release wave 2, aka Business Central 25, which is the modern search. I'll link the description of this, oh sorry, the link to this video into the description of the current video. But due to this feature introduction, you have to make a small change or add a small feature into your SQL Server instance so that you are able to upgrade to Business Central 25. Because this feature is needed for the base and the system application to work uh, with SQL Server. So what is this? how you can check that do you have it or not, all that we're going to cover into this video. Okay, so let's get into it. So for the demo, I have my SQL Server, pop up your SQL Server. Um, just to check, first let's try to check do we have this feature available or not? And if not, then we'll see how you can enable this. Okay. So in your SQL Server, go into the new query. Don't worry, I'll add this query into the pinned comment again or on the description of, and on the description of this video, which is something goes like this, which is, and I don't know how to zoom this. Sorry, my bad. If I knew I should have done that, but let me try it. No, this is not working. Okay. So if you can't read it, it's select full text service property is full text installed as full text installed. When you execute this query, you should see either a zero or a one. If this query returns zero, then the full text search isn't installed. If it returns one, then it is installed. Now the SQL Server instance that hosts your Business Central database for Business Central 25 must include the full text and semantic extractions for search feature. The version 25 base application requires this feature and if it is installed by default, great. But if it is not, as you can see on my SQL Server, we'll see how you do that. So as we saw that it is not in, uh, installed on my SQL Server, if that's the same case with you, you need to get access to the product DVD I have mine here, um, start your product DVD, which I'm doing now. And now we'll see how we need to do this. Okay. Run your setup as administrator. Okay. As SQL Server 2019. Um, if you have a prior version, I'm not sure from which version this is available, but do check on it. Okay. So once you are here, go into installation and say choose new server, SQL Server standalone installation or add a feature to existing installation. So this option allows you to install the new SQL Server or add a missing feature into your installation. Choose this under installation, say run, and start your SQL Server uh, checks and I'm not checking the updates. Uh, set of files are already installed, so I don't think that'll take some time. Okay, I have a warning. Now, here you need to make sure that you keep a close eye into it. 
you're not performing a new installation what you're doing is adding a feature on existing instance of sql server if you have different sql server instance where you have which you're using for your hosting your business central database then choose that particular instance mine is default which is sql server ms sql server hit next and here it'll show you all the features that are part of installation media that you can do now out of these features you need to make sure that you have full text and semantic extractions for search enabled now this feature will get added so if you are doing a new installation make sure to include this if you already have a sql server installed then make sure that you enable this feature and once you have chosen that just do next and based on whatever the features that you have selected it'll just choose install and start stalling now while it is mandatory we talked about it because of the modern text uh, modern search you need this feature to be installed if you don't have it you might not be able to follow the upgrade step because the base application needs this feature on your sql server so if you have a plan to upgrade to business center 25 which you should have make sure that you have this feature installed and you have completed this before watching any next video into this series because as i said we'll be talking about business central 25 upgrades going forward now it's nearly completed i guess okay let's see close now we'll run the same query again to see is it getting got installed or not i am not sure do i have to restart the sql server or not but let's check so now if you can see running the same query is now tells me that it's fully text installed that means the feature that we are trying to add which was missing is now installed on my sql server now before moving ahead as i said i'll be starting doing upgrades video to business Central 25 and i'll do it from business Central 14 15 16 17 18 19 and so on and so forth till 24. if you have particular localization or country in mind do let me know into the comments and i'll make sure to include that into the upcoming video i'll in any case i'll pick random regions and countries to do upgrade videos but do let me know you know the drill at this point drop your queries and suggestions into the comment box if you think this was useful hit the like button if you think this is something that others should know do share it and if you haven't then do subscribe to the channel again as announced in the previous video if you have any business queries around business central or connected product reach out to us at info at editeconsulting.com and we'll be happy to help so i'll see you sooner than later into the upcoming videos into this series till then have a great day keep learning and keep sharing whatever you're learning thank you